Hello everybody, Becky here. Hope you're fine on this Sunday evening. Oh, just taking the dog around the block. She's up there somewhere, there she is, see her? Little glowing thing. There she go, there she is. Yep, just a little vlog to let you know that actually myself will be going live tonight. First time in a few weeks. So, if you want to let everyone know, share us out that the Necrophonic Twins are back on lives. No more lockdown here. So I just thought I'd take you on a little walk. Just thought I'd take my till Billy out and we'll have a little walk past the murder house. Got this here. Right, there's my Tilly. This dog, this dog pulls me up the street, she do. Ooh, I wonder if we catch anything. So, I hope everyone's okay. Yeah, I mean, she had been really busy on the channels. Um, oh, my breath. Yeah, and with lockdown here, we didn't feel comfortable on coming on to show the nation lockdown here. My hair was actually starting to touch my shoulders and the fringe was just below my chin. Come on, over, good girl. Look at her. Ooh. Excuse me, get the road. Come on. Tilly. Good girl. Yeah, I took my Tilly to the vets a couple of weeks ago. And apparently, since she's been born, she's suffered with dry eye. And it causes um, her eyes to go gunky like conjunctivitis. Um, and what I didn't realise is that she suffered with dry eye. And she had little ulcers on her eyeballs. So she's being treated for that and I have to put ointment in her eyes but the poor little sod unbeknown to me she's um she's got five percent vision in her eyes but she does well good girl her and Missy's the same two bitch dogs but they can't get left to have a tingle so yeah that's why you hear Tilly bark a lot when we're on lives. Poor little girl. Don't you run that road? Come in. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. So, what's your post? Oh, she's been walking to her. <laughs> Come here Tilly, there's a car coming baby. Come on, good girl. Come on, there's a car coming. It's defeating the object a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, what was saying people? Yeah, we're going live. We've missed you. We've missed you all. And there's the house, look. For those of you who have not ever seen it, there she is. What a beauty. Come here Till. Now that bottom window, both Julie and myself see a skeletal um, figure. I hope don't torture him. This way too. Come now. Come on. I know you get bored, baby. I can't really see it, can you? It's just a jolt. Ooh. Is that just flown up by my screen? Hmm. Where's she gone to? There she is. Bless her. My little baby girl. 
Yeah, and that's the, this is the first place I ever investigated. And, and that top middle window was lit up. Um, Chrissy Lee. Um, paranormal. Um, actually caught a couple of figures. And the story to that home is that uh, the father and um, he came home from work but in the war he lost all his family and the word is that he's, he couldn't live with the guilt of he's the only one surviving so he murdered his children and his wife um, they had a lodger there at the time and it did turn out it was murder suicide. It must have been going through that poor man's mind. She's on the centre, son. Come out. Oh, dear, what's that? That's my snake, everybody. Yeah, me, Julie's got some. Now this lockdown's coming to a sort of end with this COVID business. Uh, we're planning on going out and doing some investigating. Because uh, I've only, like you all know, only ever met Julie the once. Had a fabulous time up there in Warrington with her. Um, but four days just weren't long enough. I got whipped in the ear in the maze. Julie left me in the maze. <laughs> Just holding the camera. <laughs> and in the forest, if you're not, anyone not seen it, go back and watch our forest one. And we actually, I actually see a white figure in the corner of my eye. So I spun round. And I see it still standing there and I just, I mean Julie just happened to knock elbows at the same time. And I said, get out. Well, we was walking quite fast and our kid went leg up and we legged up. But the bizarre thing is we went back there the following day and we didn't clock her. It was Lacey, our, our Julie's granddaughter, clocked. A figure standing by the exact same tree that was dressed in black. And the night before it was in white, was it the same was it the same figure that I see the night before? Yeah. I mean Julie's got unfinished business there. Um I've got one I mean Cole did go to the graveyard the other night. And we found some bits and pieces on there. So that should be coming out shortly. And like I say, everyone, if you hear or see anything that Julie and myself haven't caught, um, don't be afraid to put it in the comments below. And you'll get a big shout out. And if you've got a channel, we will put your links in our next video, if that's okay with you. Because it's good to help us little channels out. It's good to help each other out. It's only meant to be a little vlog, it's full blown video. <laughs> oh, you know me, I like the waffle. Yeah, Tilly's having a haircut tomorrow. Watch that post, baby girl. So she walks me around the post. I'm glad I ain't got both of them tonight. I'm actually surprised these roads are this quiet. But like I say, people, we were going live about half 11, 12 o'clock tonight. We'll probably be live before this updates, uploads. Come on, baby coats, good girl, over. Over. Good girl. Good girl. Here's the old YMCA. <coughs> God, it's quite nippy. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now, everybody, I'm going to put the phone down. And... With all our blessings, Julie and I 
of each and every one of you, new or old. It's all glass in that cart, in that road. Yep. So, please be safe. Much love and peace to each and every one of you. The Necrophonic Twins love you.